Hi guys, welcome to today's arm circuit. So we have some lovely blue sky for me to film, thankfully. It has been pouring down for the most of the day. Um, so 10 minutes arms today. Um, first of all, Lily wants to show you something that she can do with her elbows. Look, can we see? Anyone else do that? <laughs> have a go, that's today's arm challenge. Can you touch your elbows behind your back? <laughs> anyway, has anybody seen the new feature on YouTube of YouTube Stories, um, which is really quite nice because you can see a little bit more um, behind the scenes of the filming. As you know, the last few weeks I've been um, filming these 10 minute workouts every day and you get a little snapshot of my everyday life, but I do concentrate mostly on the workout. So if you check out the stories, you'll be able to see a little bit more about what goes on in this crazy house. So I have um, picked up again um, the one and a half kilogram weights um, for today's workout. Now you can use tins of beans, bottles of wine, um, ankle or wrist weights, whatever you want to use. Um, but I've got these one and a half K. So it's a little bit guided towards that kind of weight. So first of all, um, let's bring my mat a little bit over. First of all, standing, feet hip width apart. Bend your knees a little, roll and drop the shoulders. Keep the ribs down, keep your chest open, chin tuck, lengthen the back of the neck. And then we're just lifting one arm up in front of you, one at a time. Keeping the elbow relatively straight, but not completely locked out. Good. Keep the weight back through your heels. That means that you have to use your abs a little bit and you'll probably end up using your glutes a little bit as well. Good. And then if we place the arms um, by the sides, elbows into the body, palms facing up, and then we're just going to reach forwards like that. That's a little bit challenging. We're going to do 10 of those, reaching forwards and coming back. Three, four, keep drawing in the tummy. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Bring the arms down by the sides and your palms facing forwards. We're going all the way up and then down, keeping those palms facing forwards. Up and back down. Drop the shoulders. Everything up tall. Great work. Keep the weight back through the heels and keep the chin tucked. Three more. Picked a perfect time of day. Three. Good. Palms facing up again. Taking one arm out to the side. Side and to the front. Side and to the front. Good. So this will be, as all of the exercises are, frankly, working the rotator cuff around the shoulder joint, which protects the shoulder, keeps it nice and tight and supported, and prevents a lot of problems. Shoulder problems, shoulder pain. Good. Three, two, one. Arms down by the sides, biceps. Good. Interestingly, I've added a few more biceps exercises into these workouts. It's not an exercise that I do massively. It tends to be a little bit of a vanity one in the gym. But biceps are important to work. I want you to concentrate on straightening the arms and locking the elbows out a little bit as you straighten them down. Good. So you're concentrating on the strong lowering of the weights as much as you are about bending the arms. Okay, taking the hands up to the side. Hands above elbows, pushing straight up. The weights join at the top. Drop the shoulders and straighten the elbows and down to here. Thinking about moving the arms between two panes of glass. And with this exercise, I really love pulling the elbows down pull down against this sort of invisible resistance almost. Good. 
Lovely. Keep breathing. Good work. Three, two, one. From the top there, we're going to do the triceps and we're going to do both at the same time. It all feels a bit wobbly and you have to work out what plane your arms will move most comfortably in. So your hands will come naturally further together and then perhaps further apart and that is just fine, that's anatomically the way that we're built. I want you to think about dropping the ribs down, tucking the bottom under, getting your abs involved a little bit and your glutes involved a little bit as well. You can, for the last few, let's give it a try, pin the weights together. Good, that feels a little bit nicer. The elbows come together towards the ears a little bit more as you straighten your arms up. Good. Three, two, one. Brilliant, let's turn the palms forwards and come all the way down. Now I want you to turn both hands to face behind you and we're going to do one arm at a time, taking the arm out to the side. Make sure you tuck your bottom under, soften the knees, drop your shoulders and take one arm out to the side like that, leading with the little finger. Keep breathing. and then the other side one two well done keep the elbows straight on this one six seven eight nine ten now behind the back i want you just coming apart and together more of a pulsing movement Work the triceps and the shoulder blade muscles. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to move in the plane that we call scaption which is the plane that your scapula or your shoulder blade prefers to move in. And it's just out to the front. If you imagine your arms at 10 to two um, on a clock face, just there. Good, so we're coming up and down. So this is how we're built to move. and 10 of these with your arms rotated by, oh my gosh, what is that, 180 degrees. Good, one, two, three, four, five, six. This, you'll feel your shoulder blades a little bit wobbling around, but you might do. See if you can hold on to those a little bit. No break in this one. It's quite interesting, isn't it? Roll the shoulders, take the arms out to the side, hands in front of your elbows. And I want you to drop all the way down, a bit like a robot, and then come all the way up. If those weights have become a little bit too much for you, either drop them down or reduce them. Good. Two. Three. Don't worry if there doesn't seem to be too much range here. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant. I want you to roll your shoulders a couple of times. So up, round, down. Brilliant. Up, round, down. Up, round, down. Good. Just a couple more. Brilliant, and then just a few to finish off, stretch the arms out, out, open, 
together, together. <laughs> Open elbows in, hands in, that's it. Bend your knees, keep the weight back. Last exercise. Six, well done. Seven, keep those ribs down, bottom tucks under. Eight, two more. Last one. Good. So I hope you enjoyed that arm workout today. Um, just 10 minutes, I hope. I haven't checked the time. Um, lovely, 10 minutes 49, and I did a little bit of talking at the beginning. So make sure you check out the YouTube stories, the new thing. I think it'd be quite nice for everybody to see what goes on behind the scenes, even more than you already see. Um, but stay well, everybody. Enjoy this little bit of sunshine. Apparently, the red arrows are flying across um, in about an hour at... Um, five to five or a couple of minutes to five if you live in Kew or Richmond area you may see them flying over anyway just a bit of interest there and it's nice blue sky so we might be able to see them so take care guys I'll see you tomorrow for the next installment